Hey, what is up guys? My name is Kimofi and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be going over all the brand new features that were introduced in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. This update came out four days ago on November 2nd. They introduced quite a few new features and they also updated old features. I'm going to be going over all of that in this video. With that being said, let's get started. So, before I show you all the features, I'm just going to go ahead and launch Photoshop so I can go over all these features that I'm going to be talking about. And now that I have Photoshop open, you can see I have the trial version, 7 days left in it. That's a standard trial length. So let's go back to Google Chrome. And all the pages I show in this video will be linked in the description. So if you want to learn more about it, check out those links down below. So the first new feature they've introduced is in-app search, where you can search Photoshop tools, panels, menus, stock assets, help, content, tutorials, and all that good stuff right from Photoshop. This is also the same thing as here stock elements, templates, and objects in the search menu. That search menu can be found right here. You just tap on that or you press Control F or Command F on your keyboard or you go to edit and search. Now before I go further on with this video I'm going to create a new document and the most notable change you see in this is the new document window. Before you didn't have the screen now when you create a new document in Photoshop, this is the screen that comes up. Now what you're going to have to do to create a new document is change from inches to pixels. And I'm going to make it 1900 by 1080. And the orientation will be automatically detected. Leave the resolution as it is. Make sure color mode is RGB and change background contents from white to background color. Once you've done all of that, you can just press create and it's going to create a new document. Now if you use if you are used to the transparent document and you don't like the white background, all you have to do is tap this lock icon here on the layers panel to unlock the background layer. Tap right here to create a new layer and then select the white layer and right click and press delete layer hit yes and you're now here with a transparent layer which people always use for graphic design next thing they introduced is Adobe XD they removed Adobe design and replaced it with Adobe XD which I believe is called Adobe experience design there's just a preview version you can copy SVG elements and import them into Photoshop. That's a new feature. Before, I don't think you were able to import SVG files into Photoshop. You can load up Adobe faster and you can continue projects easily because they save all your presets. Let me show you when I'm creating a new document. Right here, they have my past few documents that I've created with the settings for each one of them as you can see on the right side. Let's just close out of this. The next feature here I'm going to be talking about is the enhanced properties panel. The properties panel it says now displays information about common layer types as well as the document so it's easier to make precise adjustments. So I think you get the properties by right clicking and selecting properties from somewhere here. I think it's one of the grayed out options, I'm not too sure, I'm not really sure what the properties menu is anyways, never really used it. Next thing is better overall performance, so they've replaced the liquify tool and many more things and it just doesn't use too much RAM now and runs smoothly. They do have much more features. In their detailed summary, I'm just going to be scrolling down, skipping through what I've just talked about. Comprehensive search. Here they also have support for 
open type SVG fonts. So now if you download an SVG font, you can use that with Adobe Photoshop. Let's scroll down. And now they also have masking, which is something like that's known in Sony Vegas, I believe. Masking is basically when you're able to remove the background of an object or change it without using a green screen or anything. Before, if you wanted to do this in Photoshop, you used to need to use a pen tool, go around the whole object, then right click, press make selection, select the selection tool, right click again and press inverse selection, and then press delete. Now you don't have to do all that. You just use the mask tool. This is the icon for it. Let me see if I can find it somewhere here. Let me just go ahead look for it. Let's expand view. And I don't really see it right here on my first look here. So you guys could just look around for it. The next feature that I'm going to be talking about is Face Aware Liquify. That's a liquify tool that they've edited. Now what you can do is like edit the eyes, make them bigger, make them smaller, change the height, change the width, change how much they're tilted by, all that could all that good stuff. They've also updated the Creative Cloud libraries. I'm sure they added some nice stuff to it. And if we go down, they also updated Camera Raw, which I don't really use. So I can't say much about it. And all the way at the bottom, they have other enhancements, which are like, now, now what the other enhancements are is if you, so all the stuff that's blue here, that's what they've improved or updated. And all the green stuff is what they've added to Adobe Photoshop. So you can read about all of this here. They've also removed some stuff here, like it says what's changed. Design space, which I was talking about earlier, is removed. Mac OS X 10.9 is not supported anymore. They replaced Control F from the keyboard from something, I forgot, from reapplying the last filter. They replaced the Control F keyboard command from reapplying the last filter to using the search tool and they've also used auto select to which is now the default setting for the move tool you can change all of this in the preferences by going into photoshop pressing control k and that's basically all the new features in Photoshop. They also fixed a bunch of bugs that users reported to them. So if you had a problem with Photoshop, you can check through this and see if they fixed what you had a problem with. With that being said, let me know if I helped you out with all these new features, an overview of all these new features in Adobe Photoshop. With that being said, my name is Kimofi, and I'm signing out.